Hey, hello again. It's Tech Mod Monday again. Already, boy, these Mondays come quick. Today we're going to just do a Mod Monday. I got a couple of modifications I want to want to show you there. One of them is probably going to be a big help to you. If you get a surprise when you get to the campground, I'll share what kind of surprise we're going to fix. Coming right up. Welcome back. Hey, today's Tech Mod Monday. We're gonna do a modification. And this modification is gonna come over at the sewer connection. Now, when you uh, when you get to the campsite, you know, you got your water hose, you know, you got your uh, power all hooked up, you're ready to go, all but the sewer. You got your hose out and you get ready to take, you get ready to take that cap off. And if you got a sewer connection like mine on the fifth wheel, a little bit of a surprise coming. Here's what happens, you know that nothing more embarrassing and unsanitary when you get to the campground there you are ready to ready to hook up to your sewer you know everything set up get backed up take off the cap oh boy the sewer drip that ever loving sewer drip we gotta hey we got a cure for that that we do we'll fix that what I'm going to be putting on mine is the Valterra Twist On Waste Valve. It is part number T58. Nobody gave it to me. I'm not pushing it. It's just the easiest one to use. I bought it myself, uh, but it will stop uh, stop that sudden burst when, when you take that cap off. You don't want to be surprised, even though most everything comes out last is your wastewater. Since you do blah, you dump your black tank first, then you wash out your lines with your gray water. So hopefully everything that comes out last is the gray water, but we don't want to take any chances. This will stop that, and I'll show you how it goes on. Now this one, normally you could mount it this way, but I've got my sewer dump hose holder there. So I want my handle on this side. So it's pretty easy just to take off. This has a uh, rotating twist on it. Boom, we're done. Now when I put my sewer hose on, I can open up my valves. This one will be closed until I put my sewer hose on. Once I get my sewer hose on, open it up, off she goes. No drips, no odors, and nothing drip down, especially if you're on a concrete pad. You wouldn't want, even though it's gray water, some of the soapy gray water is not gonna have a pleasant smell to it. So we'll, uh, we'll do this. This will help you, especially if you've got the, the kind of wet bay like we've got to where the dump valves are way up in there, you'll have all that settled in there. Pretty easy, this is a Valterra a T58 valve. You saw how simple it was to put on. No more drips, no more problems. Now I always use a 45 degree, it's a clear. It's not that I'm wanting to see everything to go through. I like to know when everything's done. If I'm dumping my black tank, I like to know when it's finished so I can close it off and we like to keep our gray tanks open about a day or a day and a half, two days maybe, before I dump my black tank. When I see my black tanks getting fairly close to full, I'll close my gray tanks off so I can get enough gray water, enough shower water, and enough kitchen water. So when I dump my black tank, the gray water will flush through and I can sort of watch the flow through here to let it know it's done. Never leave your black tank open and you want your black tank as full as possible before you dump it. You want a lot of liquid in there to sort of make everything uh, liquidy and it comes out and dumps better. But I always like to use this so I can I can see when it's finished and let me know that uh, it's time to either close the tanks off or open the gray tanks. Well, there's our finished product, getting our Verterra uh, gate valve put on. So now, now when we get to a campground, if I open my tanks up over in my wet bay, everything's gonna be here, but I can hold it with my, I can take my cap off I can hold everything up until I get my hose and everything hooked up here. Then it's, all I gotta do is open the gate valve. Swoosh, off go the nasties. When I get ready to leave, I don't have to worry about how much is gonna drip. Close my gate valve off, easy stuff. That's gonna be, uh, that'll stop all your drips. Hope that takes care of it there. 
Okay, now we got it hooked up. Glenn is in there doing laundry, so I know that's clean water coming out of there. So you see the water flowing through my clear 45 degree fitting. And boom, close the gate valve and everything come to a complete stop. Ready to open up. Yeah, that's just washer water where she's in doing some towels. That'll let you go. That uh, That's a super easy uh, and a very needed upgrade, especially if you got a wet bay. Most fifth wheels have the same cable system like I've got. And here's the motorhome that we had, and you can see the uh, actually through that four inch opening in the bottom, my sewer hose actually come up through there. And the cutoff valve is the gate valve for the black tanks on the right, and the gray uh, valve was on the left. So it was an easy cutoff. Here's a travel trailer. And that's why most travel trailers don't have to worry about all the drippings and the juicy juice coming out when they take their cap off. Most travel trailers like this one, uh, they've got, the, you'll see the main cap right there. Uh, on each side are the uh, gray tanks from the front and the rear of this camper. Uh, so the gate valve is right there at the opening. The big gate valve you see at the back, that's uh, his black tank. So he's got three gate valves there and they're all right there next to the opening. So no surprises for him when he gets to the campground and pops his cap off. The neighbor, as, I, as, as soon as I finished this, when I had to walk around and saw, my neighbor had done the exact upgrade. While we're over here on this side, I'll show you an easy modification. I put me a screen guard here for my furnace. I've already had mud daubers trying to get into my, my AquaGo uh, water heater. So I'm going to put me a screen there, but this is a screen that's uh, it's made just for your furnace. Two little small springs. Took me about three minutes to put this on. I've had this one for, this is my third camper for this one. So I keep a lot, you can tell I keep a lot of my parts from camper to camper to camper. This will keep out all the uh, mud daubers and the bees and anything else that decides it wants to go ahead and make a home inside your furnace opening there. That's an easy pickup. That's an easy modification you can do too. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope they helped too. If you have a, a fifth wheel like mine, it's got the cable connectors and you're getting a, a little bit of a, juice you may say coming out your camp when you take it off at the campground especially if you're going to camp at a campground that's got a concrete pad it's even worse if you got gravel or grass but the concrete pad really does <laughs> it don't hide much so if you got a a little burst of uh, sewage drippings there we just got you fixed uh, this gate valve is uh, super easy you saw it probably takes about 30 seconds to uh, to uh, put it on and it's it's always going to keep it clo uh, closed off until I'm ready to, to open it up. I can get my, my connector and my sewer hose all put in before I open my gate valve. So hope you got that fixed. The little screen over my furnace, that's a, that's a really a no-brainer. The mud daubers are, are really bad. I've already had them once. So that's an easy mod for you too. Again, don't forget Fridays are our adventure videos. Monday is our tech mod uh, uh, videos. I hope you do hit that subscribe button and follow our journey along with us. Hit that like button there and you can uh, really help us out. Leave me a comment, that helps and I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to know what you're using on your sewer dump. Maybe uh, maybe just some comments on how you're liking the channel so far. If there's anything you see that we need to be doing or if there's something you'd like to suggest, I'd love to hear from you. Again, my name is Pat. We are making RV memories everywhere we go, living full time and loving every minute of it. Man, we're making some great friends and there's some awesome RVers out here on the road. Again, Pat with Making RV Memories, and God bless you.